This is Blake's Nature Life, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing to push the edge through the winter. So I'm using cinder blocks as a thermal, so when the sun hits, it's going to put off heat, making it a few degrees warmer. So I got some limes here. I have even a sour sop. I even have some lychees from seed, just playing around with it. I've also got some bananas I'm putting in here to kind of give it an overhang, some shade, and some also some try to keep in the moisture with some magnolias in the back that were already here. But you see, I just stick them around the trunk and at least puts off enough heat. If the top were to die back, at least I'd have the trunk come back up. But in my success, I have actually planted plants straight in the middle of the cinder block and they've actually done really good. Like this jackfruit, I actually kept it really warm because I had it so close to the trunk, it kept the whole plant warm enough a few feet above it. I And when I lived near Jacksonville, Florida, we had a really cold winter in the 20s for a few days and my mango that was at least a few feet tall survived. Unfortunately, I tried to dig it up to move it and then that was a disaster and I killed it. And then I have a, a long in here. This one's been struggling since I got it in a pot and I finally planted it a few weeks ago. Probably should have planted it a lot sooner, but it's putting on healthier leaves. It was just, just struggling the whole time when I got it. I should have never got it, but I figured let me give it a shot. It was on sale when I was down south. Here's an ice cream bean tree of loquats. They're not gonna need much protection at all. Here's a longin from seed. See how I have it in the middle of the cinder block? And this one is an air layer. You can see I have some more banana trees. Here's a kapok floss silk tree. This one, I still need to put blocks around it. I'm gonna push this one and get it to a point where it has thorns and make flowers one day. It takes a few years. Here's just a regular papaya, red lady. I was gonna put some PVC pipe cover over it. See if I can push it. Here's a uh, passion vine. Let's take a look at something else I have going, I'll show you. Here's my large avocado tree. This is one of the ones that get real big. Maybe a haul avocado. Look at the beautiful leaves. I've got the cinder blocks around the bottom to keep it warmer. I'll also put a stakes in here too to cover with a blanket. Get them through the winter. I just love how they look. Now, a lot, I've heard a lot of people growing these from seed and they will taste just as good. You get lucky and after five to probably eight years, you might actually have your own fruit. That's gonna be real delicious, unique, and you can name your own variety. I'm hoping I can get this through the winter. I believe I can. It's doing really good here. It's got a nice trunk on it. It's not even a year old. And you see where I topped it. I topped it off there, keep it smaller. There you go. Let's look at the other side. So you can see it's different branches coming out. I like it. To the left of it, I have a mahogany tree. A little bit smaller. Here's a tamarind I grew from seed. And you see I have two cinder blocks going up it and it's right in the middle. So if it were to have died back, it would die back to the cinder block. I also could add another one and let it keep growing up. This one more likely will survive because the cinder blocks put off a lot of heat above, out, and in the ground. So if you have tons of cinder blocks sitting around, use them. Your plants will appreciate it. And this helps you push the edge. Use what you have around. Don't try to spend lots of money. This one's doing really good in the full sun. Come over here, I'm gonna show you the moringa. This is my large moringa that I planted at the beginning of the year. It has done really good in the full sun, right beside my horn melon vine. Look how fat the trunk is. So what I could do here is put cinder blocks around it, put a PVC pipe cover, a fat one, wrap it up, and wrap it as high as I want. Oh, I see a bumblebee pollinate my horn melons 
There he is. Wrap it as high as I want, and then whatever dies back, dies back, I can always cut it back. I figured I'd let it come up to here, protect all this so next year it could just shoot up and make new stalks and get even taller. It's uh, endless what you could do with tropicals. And here's my other one. They were planted at the same time, and this one's just a little bit smaller. But it's up there. But don't let it limit you on growing what you want. Just think about it. Think about what you can do to protect it and make it survive. Also feed them really good. I feed these really healthy. There you have it. Pushing the edge. Catch you later.